the pH of the soft drink is 3.37 after the addition of the potassium sorbate. Which species, the sorbic acid or the sorbate ion, has a higher concentration in the soft drink? Justify your answer. So this is related to the question we've been doing because the sorbate ion, this, this is what happens when you put potassium sorbate and it disassociates in a solution. So the concentration of the sorbate ion is the same thing as the concentration, one way to think about it is, the same, is, is, is going to be the same as the concentration of your potassium sorbate. And so if we're thinking about, if we're thinking about titrating potassium sorbate, which we've been doing in the last several parts of the problem, at what point do you have an equal concentration of potassium sorbate and and sorbic acid. Well, you have equal concentrations at the half equivalence point. We marked that out when we, we figured it out in the last few parts of this problem. And the half equivalence point happened at a pH of 4 point, we actually figured it out before, 4.77. So we could say, we could say half equivalence point, half, half equivalence, equivalence point, of titration of, of potassium sorbate, potassium sorbate with hydrochloric acid happens, happens at a pH of, let me write that, pH of 4.77. And that's the point at which you have equal concentrations of, so we can put this in parentheses, can be viewed as point where we have equal concentrations, concentrations, of of C6H7O2 minus and the sorbic acid HC6H7O2 pH of 3.77 pH of 3.37 is lower and will Thus, or we could say, will happen beyond half equivalence point, beyond half equivalence, equivalence point. So concentration of the sorbic acid is higher. So concentration of sorbic acid acid, HC6H7O2, is higher. When you're starting off, if you're doing a titration, your, your concentration of potassium sorbate will be higher. Then you keep titrating. It keeps reacting with the hydrochloric acid. You get to the half equivalence point where these two things are going to have equally concentrations. And then you, if you keep titrating it, well, then you're going to become more acidic and you're going to have a higher concentration of the sorbic acid. And so one way to think about, let me actually underline that whole part. So concentration of sorbic acid is higher. That's the main thing that they're, they're asking for. Uh, but the way to think about this soft drink is something, it, it might have not, obviously people aren't sitting there and titrating every soft drink, but you could kind of view this soft drink as, well, it got to that point after a theoretical titration that got us past the high, past the past the half equivalence point and so therefore most of 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 our the things that we care about is in the form is in the acid form versus the conjugate base most of the 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 sorbic acid is in it is in its acid form or i guess you could say the other way most of the sorbate has become the conjugate acid